strangers in a dark room laughing at jokes they didn't quite hear. Frosted window panes and cheap champagne, a face appears. And anything could happen in these cathedrals we roll. With shadow people dance and trade their glance and walk. It's him. Hey now! Come from nothing and to nothing will turn. Hey now! Between his gravity and bridges left. Hello. How's everybody doing? Thursday night, one of my favorite nights to stream. How y'all doing? What movie did you miss last night? We watched John Woo's Hard Boiled. It's a great film stream. It's a fun one. What are we doing tonight? Well, we're going to be doing some chilling, some talking, and we're going to watch a back-to-back million-dollar island episode night, followed by more of the himbo run with Wake Wilder. Pack stream. But I'm just settling down, settling in. Duncan spiked coffee. Oh, Lord. These are going to be gross. These are going to be gross. Music very loud. Good. All right, I'm bringing it down. Yeah, I'm doing my intro, man. We just started. Hello, everybody. From the four corners of the globe to wherever the fuck you are right now, I'm Will Neff. Just settling in. What song? This is Vampires by the Midnight. For any of you that are uh, aspiring streamers or do some streaming of your own, the Midnight uh, made all their music DMCA free a long time ago. So great background music, great starter music to have. Um, Just good shit. Um... How's everybody doing? Well, have you seen Invincible? Season 2 coming out soon. Promo is out. Yeah, w- I mean, that came out a while ago. Um, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I watched I'm Invincible and I watched the uh, the bonus drop yeah, that they wow. did for um, cool. Go that one character. Adam something. I forget. It was dope, though. 
Go Pack Go? I think the Pack might have a hard year, but Adam Eve. There you go. Um, My wife and I just made love. <laughs> And I said we had to go watch Will Neff. I got in trouble. What should I say now to her? <sighs> Don't bring me into that. <laughs> I can't help you there. Um. Packers are going to eat bare ass this year. Uh, it's not the Bears I'm worried about in that division, brother. It's the Lions. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. I think the Lions own that division this year. I might be crazy, but they look really good. Um, Dr. Cube, thank you. That's a hot take. Is it? They're playing really good football at the end of last year. Vikings? Um, Vikings will be good, too. I don't know about the Bears in the pack. Could be a rebuilding year for both. Did you watch Hard Knocks yet? Yes, I did. Hard Knocks was sick. Aaron Rodgers looks like a goddamn prince. Looks like a fucking prince. A-Rod and Sauce are crazy for this. Oh, dude. You think I heard... <laughs> You think I haven't seen their handshake? Oh, yeah, wow. That's they go cool. like this. Hey, Will. They go like this. Here's a Puggers video about our And then they put the blunt out cool. in someone's hair. Animation. That's their handshake. Aaron Rodgers has a, like, a special handshake with almost every player on the team. Crazy. Hey, Will, here's a Puggers video about Arcane that goes into a lot of details about the animation. Um, 21 minute long video about Arcane. Uh,. I might watch this. I still haven't watched Arcane, if I'm being honest. Sup, baby. I know I have to. I just never got around to it. First cowgirl, all the hits, all the big ones. All Larry in designing relationships. In Baldur's Gate 3, hold on. Fine, anal, vaginal, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl, all the hits, all the big ones, all the good ones. And then he smells crime again. He's out busting heads. Then he's back to the lab for some more full penetration. Yeah. Smells crime, back to the lab, full yep. penetration, crime, penetration, crime, full penetration, crime, penetration. And this goes on and on and back and forth for nine so minutes. It just kind of ends. The movie just sort of ends. Fine, anal, vaginal, cowgirl. Hell yeah. That's Baldur's Gate, baby. Back in the lab, oh, that's for cool cooking up some more full pen. Oh, yeah, wow. that's what a thing to raid into. Did I, did I just get raided? <laughs> Dude, it's, I mean, we're talking about Baldur's Gate. Okay. Just doing a little full pen. If you're not doing full pen in Baldur's Gate, can you even say you're a gamer anymore? Um... What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Thursday. I think we just got a raid from the one, the only Hasanabi. Wow, that's for a cool good friend of the stream. HS gift I've met him a few times time in real life. He's a pretty good guy. Um, you know, anytime I hang out with him, he's like, oh, Will, you know, I wish we were better friends. You know, I wish I was as tall as you. You know, he's, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Um... But uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Haas and Obbers. Uh Tonight, uh, I'm going to be getting into some Thursday night content. We've been watching a new version of Survivor called Million Dollar Island. That is, mwah. And in about 20, 30 minutes, we're going to get into a, 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 a double feature of Million Dollar Island. So uh, if you liked watching Survivor with me, you're going to love this. Uh, it's a lot of fun, so stick around. Did I miss Survivor last night? No, we did film night last night. We did John Woo. Uh, we did kind of a a sketchy showing of um, Hard Boiled. Because a lot of people, when I watched a video essay on John Woo, I was shocked at how many people hadn't seen his shit. Um, so we did a John Woo film night, and people fucking loved it. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you for that tier one, Carrie. 
Um, sketchy? Yeah, we watched it on YouTube. I'll keep it a buck. We watched it on YouTube and then nuked the VOD. Dude, no one has seen Hard bo bo uh, Boiled. It's wild. I was actually really surprised. I was talking about Hard Boiled like it was like Princess Bride. Like a movie that I just assumed everybody had seen at one point in their travels. And 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 it was like 90% of the audience hadn't seen it. Oh, yeah, wow. That's NSFJ, I think, 10 months. Hey, Will, missed you. Ah, thanks. I've been here streaming, though, so I... You know, you don't have to only view me in a raid. You can just voluntarily watch me. You can you can click on my name on the side of your screen. <laughs> Keck fair? Hey, it happens. It's all right, guys. You know, the, just the way it's organized, I get it. Sometimes you don't want to scroll down to my name. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> That's not how it works. I know, dude. Once I hit top directory, everybody's going to be like, why didn't I watch you before? Oh, right, because I had to scroll to get to your name. I, just, I can't fucking be bothered. Will Neff, I ate too much peanut butter today. What a unique problem to have, my friend. John ja, Mac, too. Thank you for the prime. Um... Carlac cosplay? I don't want to look at this at all. Oh my god! Now what's now what now what's now hold on. Now Obviously, there's something wrong with this cosplay. And it is that if anybody is a Carlac fan, they know that she doesn't have two gigantic horns. She only has one. And that kind of attention to detail uh, ruins this cosplay for me. Just too horny. That cosplay is just a little too horny. You know what I mean? As in the number of horns. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the best. <laughs> Where's her infernal engine? True. More Aussie show tonight? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just waiting for the usual folks to shuffle in. I started a little early. Um, I started a little early tonight because I wanted to bang out the reaction content. I wanted to bang out the, the content that my my reaction frogs dig so that my game frogs can eat tonight uh, while Wake and I go ahead and hit that himbo run again because my girlfriend Carlac is missing me, you know what I mean? Did you mean king of games? Uh, no, I meant kind of games. Oh yeah, wow, that's her cool. She's but I'll change it for you. Red, thank you so much. She's mine now. Hey, watch it. Um, dude, I'm so here for that show. It's so good. Let's. It's like Survivor on speed. Plagues, thank you so much for the prime. Well, did you see the tweet about the girl who found? The girl who found his, the girl who found his mother's. What is this? Oh no! Tell me, uh, <laughs> tell me. Oh what, yeah, what wow, is this? That's her cool. Witchy ways gifted a tier one sub to Thermac. Witchy ways, thank you. Oh, Twitter video strikes again. God, I love you, Twitter video. Never change. Never, never fix yourself. Dilemma for you. <gasps> never work. I'm currently house sitting for my parents whilst they're away on holiday for a week. On the first night, after a few glasses of wine, I got people? under the bed to plug my phone charger into the wall. There, I found a very pretty shoebox. Oh no! Don't look in the shoebox under the <laughs> bed. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I can read this. Why would you bloody look? <laughs> Why? 
Imagine my shock as I opened it to find my mother's very large and realistic battery-powered boyfriend. Hindsight is great, and I know now that I should have left it there, but my curiosity would unfortunately get the better of me. Being alone and horny, and also quite impressed by the no! monster no. I had in my hands. No, no, no. Oh, no! <laughs> no, no, no. She did not use a monster, though. Tell me, you had... No. Tell me. Well, please. Please. People are disgusting. She did not. I gave it a wash, turned it on, and slipped it in. No! Too much detail. All I'll say is the beast was amazing. It hit all the right spots. Upon closer in... Oh, no! It gets worse! How? <laughs> How does it get Truly. worse? She's using her mum's dildo, for Christ's sake. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? The only markings were a faint name on the base embossed in the plastic. It read, Clone a Willy. Oh no. Turns out I've been getting the best orgasms of my life from a replica of my father's penis. Ah! No! <laughs> How am I meant to proceed from here? I think we're done. What's your advice regards Melissa? It's been a great five years. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a great five. Dude, I call. Wow. Melissa's got a new daddy issue. New daddy issue unlocked. New daddy issue just dropped. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's for cool. That is so depraved, man. Yeah, incest with extra steps. For real. Honorable death and that's it. God. That is just. That is. Oh, yeah, wow. that's for Thank you for the prime. Here's one thing, though. Here's the saving grace. She doesn't know that that's her dad's cock. Her mom could have cloned someone else's cock. Balls. You know what I mean? I don't take you can leave that ambiguous. Watched Sunshine last night after you mentioned it. Yep. No spoilers, but holy shit, that one sentence Sicarus said was bone chilling. Chris Evans was right. I told you, man. Sunshine is slept on. Uh, Wonky, thank you for the prime. What a time to be alive. Yeah, it just gets more depraved by the day. <laughs> In the South, they just call that Valentine's Day. God damn. Damn. It's not fucking yourself with your mom's dildo, but it is a Carlac meme. Uh, just, I mean, Carlac best girl. You know I'm here for the Carlac memes. Fucking hate it that I have a dump truck ass and a great personality to fucking boot. Yep. It's the cross I bear. Dude, Carlac is best girl. I Dude, I... I, I we, the, <laughs> The the oh, fucking oh, that's for a cool. shadow heart apologists at this point, you're they're in shambles. The more of the game that we experience, the more and more that the shadow heart apologists are in shambles. With every single interaction, the shadow heart apologists are like, oh my god, what are we doing? I just feel like they're too far in. L take no, no, it's not. No, it's not. You want to know why? Because you picked Shadowheart based on gut reaction appearance. Period. That's why you pick Shadowheart. You pick Shadowheart, gut reaction appearance, day one, Zoe Deschanel ass, blue eyes, white chick. Right? <laughs> if, she was, if she was a Yu-Gi-Oh card, she'd be blue eyes, white chick. And now you're stuck with her. Okay? Oh yeah, wow, that's for a cool. I what did I just watch I let that? myself meet these women first. And every day I am grateful that I'm a Carlax Dan. Every day I am grateful for my choice. Every day you're just jealous. <laughs> every day I see Wake Wilder jumping through hoops, scum rolling to keep his girlfriend happy. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotta I have to make decisions where I don't pry into her life, but I have to let her be a little crazy oh, yeah. and I have to like buy into astrology. That's your life. Me, my life, 
You know what it is? Hey, Carlac, you want to beat some shit up? Fuck yeah, I do. You're fucking right, I do. That makes me horny. I'm like, God damn. Every day I thank God. Every, to this day I thank God that I pick Carlac. You want to know how to turn on Carlac? Beat the shit out of someone. Hot. Very hot. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for you keep getting in nothing fights with your girl with bangs. I'll keep having hard body sex with Carlac, okay? You keep learning astrology charts to keep fucking Shadowheart happy. And uh, I'll keep uh, smashing up bad guys, you know? Ooh, we got some ideas from Haas on uh, what we're going to do for tomorrow's playlist stream. Oh, yeah! Damn, these are good. These are very good. I'll read you a few of them. I won't give you the description, but I'll read you a few of them. Haas on it again. Foreign finds. You cry, you lose. Big risen. Pong bangers and high hits. Murder on the mind. Legendary solos. Prove country is good to me. You laugh, you lose. Billy Rave Brains. Yacht Rock. Covers, remixes, and samples. What did they say? Arch villains out of this world. New or next. Food tunes. Auditory hallucinations. Ladies night. You sing, you lose. Take me to church. Nice cocks. That's a song that objectify men. All right, so we'll pick one of these for the playlist stream tomorrow. If you haven't been to one of the playlist streams yet, man, they are fun. Man, they are fun for you. For me, they are a nightmare. For, for me, they are an endurance sport that I lose every week. Um, don't know if you talked about this. VFX workers are looking to unionize at Marvel because they are currently getting paid on a weekly flat rate. This means they don't get paid extra for overtime hours, days, and have no protections against tight turnarounds. Damn. Um, that's, I mean, that's really interesting. Because obviously... Like you don't think about Marvel needing its own VFX union, but when you really dial back and think about the time that they turn around projects and how many, how VFX dependent everything Marvel is, it makes a lot of sense. And there's probably insane crunch there too. Good for them. Good for them. Um... No protection against tight deadlines. What does turnarounds mean in this context? Well, I mean, Marvel makes films on a breakneck schedule, right? So they might, they probably have crunch just like a video game developer where they're like, oh, you know, our slate is coming out and we need Ant-Man part 16 to come out before we can release, you know, Black Panther 6. So, um, I mean... I think that makes sense because the amount of VFX work that goes into those films is absolutely absurd. Um, makes sense to me. Also, billions of dollars industry there, so why not? Um, um, Silver, APR, thank you. This is also how the unionization process will happen since nothing exists in VFX. I have been writing an uh, I have been writing an animation and each animation studios have been having its own uni unionization moment for its production workers to join the American G Animation Guild. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. One thing that I don't think anyone has thought about and I I think about this. A lot of really big actors have kind of been dragging their feet on all this striking and unionization, right? And we think about how much oh, yeah, money oh, that's for cool. executives are making 
But we're also not talking about how much money A-list actors are making. Right? No one's up in arms that Will Smith is making $50 million on a bright. And perhaps we should. And maybe that's why these big actors, like they're, they're kind of reading the tea leaves and they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> is he any more? Oh, for sure. Better actors should make more. Oh, I agree. I absolutely agree. But do you think they should be making $50 million a project? There's a difference between being the highest paid talent on a project. Yes, that's a very interesting take. That is a very interesting take. I wonder why people are so willing to look at executives and be like, fuck this guy. He makes $50 million. That's way too much money. But yeah, hand Will Smith all that money. Owner versus worker? I'm a stuff. Yeah, I guess. Ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Will yeah. help. BG3 is destroying my life. My accountant asked for my files five days ago for tax and I lied and said my computer died so it would take another week <laughs> to send them to him. Oh yeah, wow. Dude, That's very cool. I can't help you with that. I cannot help you with that. You gotta walk away at some point. You gotta do what I do and just binge it till you're sick of it and then walk away for a little bit. We're like 400 million for the executive. Yeah, I'm just saying like perhaps there should be just some kind of balance on film sets. We're like, you know, your, your grips and your PAs and stuff are making a percentage of what the executive make and, pre and a percentage of what the top talent make. Um, you know, I, I just think like obviously we are we are we are at a place right now where the people who work on films do not make enough money to live. And the reason that so many top talents are like kind of not giving a shit about this strike or undermining this strike is because they're completely fine to go months without work. Right? I know they're not owners, but they are some of the richest people on the planet. And that is why. Ultimately, a lot of them don't give a shit. So, um, I don't think chat realizes that $50 million isn't even a whole year of work <laughs> just for the time on uh, one film. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It, uh, listen, if I hadn't been so disappointed by how many workers or how many actors have kind of like effectively done everything but cross the picket line. Um, I, I don't think I'd be so ready to say that. But like, obviously there is a level of solidarity that is not there. Right? Like, it's so, so many actors are saying like, good people on both sides. Which I'm just kind of like, whoa. Okay. So, you know. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Paying so many, yeah, dude. Worker solidarity. Uh, it's here's the here, union heads and here's the thing. They're not like they're not like outwardly crossing the picket line, but there are a lot of things happening, like approved projects, and you know, just talent kind of not being there for it. Um, like how many? More than you'd think. More than you'd think. Big movie stars? Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know. I just, I just think that like, does the $50 million include the press tour? Dude, come on. Stop. What are we doing? What are we doing? Stop. Come on. What are we even talking about here? Um, the, the press tour. Damn, the back-breaking labor that is the press tour. Oh, shit, I forgot about the press tour. You're right, $50 million seems reasonable. Oh, yeah, wow, that's for... Um, hey, Will, 
Haven't been here lately because of new working hours, but my sub will stay strong. Thank you. It's, 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 it's not even like I'm out here saying like, yeah, this actor who made $10 million for a project is too much. I don't know. I don't know. $50 million is an astronomical amount of money. Oh, yeah, wow. Opinion, That's but, for a cool. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, I, I, just, I just feel like, yes, executives should make less money. Um, who are the actors who are actually worth $50 million in, in your mind? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I'll tell you the truth. I don't think there is a single actor living that's worth $50 million. That is my point. I don't think there is any performance on the planet that is worth $50 million. I don't know if there is a job on the planet that's worth $50 million. Right? I, I don't know, short of inventing cold fusion, there is a job that's worth 50 million bucks. But, I don't know. That's just me. Um, you haven't seen me work? That is true, bro. That is true. I haven't seen you all work. Uh, my mom is worth 50 million. I mean, I, again, I'm not saying you can't be worth 50 million. I'm just saying in a time when writers and, uh, and VFX artists and, um, you know, grips and stuff are like losing their homes. <laughs> maybe we need to think about like, Hey, maybe there's more people that make a film than just like the one person that is like the highest build on the on the set. Oh yeah, I don't wow. know. That's for cool. Um Uh Oh, yeah, wow. Maybe. That's for a Maybe cool. I'm crazy. Pipes gifted a tier one sub. Deep Pappas, thank you so much. Underscore o. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for a cool. Should you get a smaller cut of your sub revenue so smaller streamers get a bigger pet? Uh, I already do. Right? I already do. I pay 30% of everything I make to Amazon to keep this website up. So, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. Um, thank you so much. He thought he had a gotcha, truly. Um, the smaller streamers paid more than that. That's true. And that sucks. Uh, the new Metal Gear is wild. The new Metal Gear. <laughs> what? I don't even know if I can show that. How you've grown as a streamer. Thank you so much. Musicians got the shit end of the stick. Yeah, dude. All my friends who make music in LA, that's a tough life. Um... Art is just a hard road to go down, man. Art is just a hard road to go down. Truly. What the fuck? I, I, y'all are sending me some wild shit right now that I don't even want to. If we're arguing that <laughs> Will Smith paid too much on Bright and that we should pay our set guys too much, you're sending me like 
trans issues stuff. We're not ready for that. Gingerbread fetus gifted a tier one sub to top five. We ain't ready for that. In the channel, it was a video of a guy basically like just saying how much he would fuck this trans woman because she was hot. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Please. <laughs> Please. I tell dick jokes, okay? Trans rights are human rights? I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. 100p. But if you could have only seen what was on my screen, it was a lot. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Yeah. What are your thoughts on three lines? Do you think you get another chance? On I've seen it. Yeah, it was weird. Injury history at QB. I think you get a chance this season with them. Um, what do I think of Trey Lance getting a a, a shot? I think um the 49ers right now are once bitten twice shy. Uh, last year ending the season without a quarterback made them feel terrible. So I think they're just gonna sit on him for now. I think Brock Purdy is your guy. Um. But they just want to make sure he's healthy. Do I think he'll get another chance? Maybe. Um, there are a lot of QB needy teams. So he might get like a Marcus Mariota type shot somewhere. Is Brock really the guy though? So happy that you are alive. Apparently Brock is. What an amazing entertainer. He really impressed everybody. Brock is one of those guys. Thank you so much. Brock is one of those guys where he might not be the best football player you've ever seen, but he's he's got the mindset for it. He's like he's like Joe Shiesty in that he just he just like can read a defense and run a locker room and deliver a ball. He's not gonna run it 15 yards every play. He's not gonna break a bunch of tackles. He can't throw it 60 yards in the air. But like on a team that's so stacked with talent like the 49ers, all you need is a f field general who's on flappable. He's not going to fucking throw a bunch of picks, and that's him. Um, Gino going to cook the Niners? I hope Gino has another good year. Here's the unhinged chatter link. Hottest adult actress? Oh, my God. Is this going to get me banned? Is there any nudity in this? Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. <laughs> Happy nine months. As a newborn baby, I would like to dedicate this chat to crying. Thank you. Do you guys want me to do this before we watch Million Dollar Island? <laughs> no. Yeah, fuck it. No, meh. I don't know, man. Why are there so many? 26 pages? No, dude. This is going to take forever. They have over fucking 500 actresses on here. No, that's going to take hours. <laughs> no. That's insane. Um, No, we'll talk for like 10 more minutes and then we'll watch it. Dollar Island. Look at this Metal Gear Solid animation. I don't know what that is. It's, a, it's Revolver Ocelot saying Revolver a bunch, I think. Any gaming tonight? Yes, late night. Late night gaming. You can choose the number of rounds when you hit play. I just don't know. I just don't know. Hard Knocks reacts? I mean, the first episode of Hard Knocks was like, it was just, it was like Aaron Rodgers propaganda. Ever watched this guy before? I have no idea what that link is. Can you put it in chat? Um, hi, Will. Never had the chance to see one of your streams before and already knew you're my new favorite comfort streamer. Oh, thank you. Could you please turn Barnaby 45 degrees? Sure. Liv Shriver made you laugh, dude. I mean, the first episode of uh, 
darn tootin'. Hell yeah, I'm born to be. Um, yeah, the first episode was good. If you like, if you like Hard Knocks, this is gonna be a good season of Hard Knocks. Um, Bebop meme. Oh, where the fuck? What the hell? I clicked that and it didn't go anywhere. It's a download? What the fuck is this? I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. You know, when I left the house today, I was thinking, damn, I really hope some hot chick paints my brains all over some fucking hallway. And here we are. I mean, really, just absolutely destroy me. Dude, this is my life. Cowboy Bebop meme, more like Will Neff meme. What the fuck? I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. You know, when I left the house today, I was thinking, damn, I really hope some hot chick paints my brains all over some fucking hallway. And here we are. I mean, really, just absolutely destroy me. I'm talking full-on watermelon <laughs> in the thighs level carnage. And I wanted to scare the shit out of me. I mean, I hope I piss myself. I hope I piss myself and you call me your little pee-pee piss-piss boy. I want you to fuck me up. I mean, I want you to make me your bitch. Your little pee-pee piss myself bitch. I want it to get embarrassing. I mean, like, weirdly embarrassing. Unsanitary, too. We should be entirely different people by the end of the first eight hours. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I mean, I'm a real freak. I'm not normal, ma'am. Please, you have to crush me. Oh my god, Spike just living my dreams. Dude, the Spike voice is so good. You basically just drop in as much fucking baritone as you can stand. My mic doesn't even pick up when I'm adding that much baritone. Maybe if I turn up the volume. Yes. I want to be your little pee-pee poo-poo bitch. Love his voice so fucking much. Um, I don't know Link. Sure, let me take a look. Secret invasion pitch meeting. Oh, you got some new Marvel stuff for me. Oh, I've seen this guy. He's very funny. I don't know if I'll watch this one in particular because I haven't watched any secret invasion, so I feel it would be lost on me. But yeah, pitch meeting, I've watched a lot of these and they're really funny. This dude's funny. Steve Blum. Jet, why are you calling this bell peppers and beef? Um... How about some crash edging? No, I, I want to get back into I want to get back into Million Dollar Island. I don't want to I don't want to do too much content before I get into Million Dollar Island. I I have been waiting to get into this. Have you been watching uh, Twisted Metal? I haven't. Is it any good? the The trailers were pretty rough. Will the Barbarian King be returning to the dungeon anytime soon? Uh, are you talking about Dark and Darker? I was playing with the boys yesterday. I'll probably get some Dark and Darker in at some point. It's fucking awful. Oh, no. Allegedly, it's not awful. Oh, yes? NBC Universal says Twisted Metal is Peacock's most binge comedy premiere to date. Whilst they and other studios still refuse to pay fair streaming residuals to writers and actors. Womp womp. <laughs> Comedy? Yeah, I th that was the other interesting thing is they really tried to lean into the humor of Twisted Metal. And I, I don't remember it being that much of a comedy-centric centri project. All the Twisted Metal I remember was kind of like fucking fucked up. Um, first episode was better than expected. Hmm. It looks so bad. Didn't watch. Yeah, I might give it a try. Twisted Metal 2 endings were pretty funny. I don't remember that. Um. All right. Million Dollar ep uh, Island Episode 3. Let's not waste any more time. If I go down a tangent, I'll never come back.
Does anybody have the playlist we were watching that from? I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. It's awful if you can see the pretension of the lore of the game. It's halfway okay if you are completely unaware. Huh. That's interesting. In my DMs. Uh... Eh? 